So now having set up the geometry and the mesh parameters, we can proceed to meshing. We go here to compute mesh. We select our method, whether it be surface meshing or volume meshing or prism meshing. We're going to start with the volume mesh. Uh, we set tetra mixed. We'll set the method to octree. We can create prism layers in hexacore now, but we'll save that for later. Uh, input is directly from the geometry, and we're not using any existing mesh parts. And then you say compute. At this point, it's using an octree process where it meshes the volume and it subdivides it and it fits it to the surface, and then it uh, flood fills. We didn't put in a material point, but if we wanted to control various materials, we could have. Since there's only one region anyway, it, it just assigns a material point for us. Now it's running the cutter and throwing away the, the disconnected orphan cells, and it's writing out the domain file now. Next, it needs to smooth. This is the initial mesh. So you can see the very regular octree corners. Okay, now it's done smoothing, we can, we can take a zoom in and look at what we got. You can see here where we've got curves, the, the mesh is very sharply uh, following those curves. Let me turn off the surfaces. You can see it's following those curves, but where we don't have curves back here where we deleted that curve, uh, the mesh is just sort of walking over the boundary between those two surfaces. It's patch independent. And here on, the, on this edge here, let me turn on the surfaces and flash the shells on and off for you. Here you can see the surface patches, but the mesh itself just sort of walks over all those patches, all these little slivers and gaps, and just ignores all the boundaries of those and, and just generates a mesh, which is what we want. You can see it's also refined in areas of curvature and it's, it's coarser in the, in, the, in the larger, flatter areas. All right, so next we want to do is see the, the, the volume. So we right click on mesh, we say cut plane, manage the cut plane. And I'm going to change it down here from, uh, the, from the default middle Z down to a middle Y plane. And let's turn off the surfaces so we can see the interiors. And uh, let's turn on the volume elements. So here's the, the octree mesh, the cross section of that octree mesh. You can see it's a very regular uh, mesh cross section. This would turn, uh, convert very well into tet to hex conversion. You can see that, uh, that these, each of these clumps can turn into a nice hexa. That can be done if you wanted to through edit mesh change mesh type. And there's an option in here for tet to hex. And instead of 1 to 4, we're going to say 12 to 1. You can set the minimum aspect ratio. I usually go smaller than that and uh, say all and apply. Okay, it uh, converted them, but they're not included in the displayed subset, so let's just make sure we turn on all the volumes. And there's our tet to hex conversion. So something like that might come in handy. Uh, if that's not what you want, we'll just say undo. All right, let's carry on with what we were going to look at. So a lot of people that are doing CFD will not like this sort of very regular, uh, very ordered. So let's zoom in on an, on an area to show you what I mean. You see here that the transitions are a bit large and a bit, a bit coarse. And this doesn't really efficiently fill the volume as well as it could. So what we want to do is change the mesh type in the volume. And we do that by going back to the Mesh tab. Now at 10.0 we had an option called uh, a smooth transition. Now we actually just go by what was really happening, which is a, a Delaunay mesh replacement. So we go to Tetra Mix, Delaunay. Uh, we could create prism layers right now, but we'll do that as a separate step and so on. Now before we do this, though, the, the Delaunay mesh grows from the surface mesh. So what I want to do is maybe get a better surface mesh. We can smooth this surface mesh to improve things. And the best way to smooth is if there is no volume mesh. That makes it freed up a bit. So I'm going to say Delete Elements. And this last option here is delete all the volume elements. So that gets rid of all of those. And now what I can do is let's turn off this cut plane. Is let's use the smoother. We go to the smooth option, smooth globally. And you can use the, the, the regular smoother here, but I usually like to use the Laplace smoothing when I smooth this mesh. So I just say apply. And we let it run a few iterations. And this will smooth out the transitions along the surface. And once the surface transition is as smooth as you would like, uh, you can then say, all right, let's go back to that Delaunay. So we go to Mesh, Compute Mesh, Method is Delaunay, and we'll just say Compute. And this is a very rapid mesher. Now also, when we're using this Delaunay, what it's actually using is that TGLib of AF option as we set up in the global settings. So now if I right click on Mesh and we uh, reshow that cut plane, turn on our volume mesh, and you can see we have a much smoother transition away from these regions. 
So now last step will be to add some prism layers in this model. So we would do that simply by uh, going back to this compute mesh we, and we would say prism. From existing mesh you can set the parts for the prism layer which we've already done. Apply, dismiss, and we'll just say compute. And here we have our final prism layer inflates uh, as it heads into the coarser tetras to try to match the, the volume transition. Let's do a zoom window. Here you can see the, the transition and all that. Uh, the F8 key helps crisp up the image if that's what you need to see. And you can see how, how that handles. And if you wanted to, you could split this or redistribute this prism and so on. So now let's uh, turn off the cut plane. Mesh cut plane, turn it off. You can see the prisms uh, as they reach out through the uh, the inlet and the outlet. Now what if you wanted to do this all with only the one step? No problem. So what you do is you go to Compute Mesh and if we unloaded all of this existing mesh we would go in Volume Meshing, click Delane, Create Prism, exist, then start from Geometry. And then what it would do is use our Geometry uh, Surface Meshing method which I'd set to Patch Independent it would go through, it would generate the octree surface mesh, it would automatically fill with Delaunay, then it would automatically create prism layers all in one compute click. Thank you for watching this demonstration of ISM CFD octree tetra, Delaunay tetra, and prism.